On this day in 1921, Constance Baker Motley was born in New Haven, Connecticut to immigrant parents who did domestic work at Yale. From those humble beginnings, a civil rights giant would grow to play a vital role in the fight for racial equality. Coming face to face with racism, Motley was inspired to pursue a career in social justice, becoming actively involved in community affairs at a young age. While in high school, she served as president of the local NAACP Youth Council, and in the process of earning her law degree from Columbia, faced civil, famed civil rights lawyer Thurgood Marshall hired Motley as a law clerk. As a clerk for the blossoming NAACP, Motley's historic journey became later began, and later she would take on the position of lawyer for the organization's legal defense fund. As the NAACP's first female litigator, Motley was led lead trial attorney in a number of significant civil rights cases. She represented Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the Freedom Riders, Birmingham Child Protesters, and many others. As years passed, she grew into a key civil rights legal strategist, influential in desegregating the South schools, buses, and lunch counters. She would become the first African-American woman to deliver a case before the Supreme Court and successfully argue nine of ten cases in front of that body. In 1950, Motley wrote the original complaint in the case of Brown v. Board of Education and was the legal mind behind James Meredith's integrating the University of Mississippi. After leaving the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, Motley was lured into the world of politics, accepting a nomination for the uh, candidacy to the New York State Senate. In March of 1965, she represented New York City at the historic Civil Rights March for, from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. In 1966, Motley became the first African-American woman named as a federal court judge nominated by President Lyndon B. Johnson to the United States District Court of Southern District of New York. In 1982, she was elevated by Chief Judge of the United States District Court for the largest federal trial court in the United States. For her servitude, Motley received the Presidential Citizens Medal in 2001 and the NAACP awarded her its highest honor, the Spigmer Award Medal in 2003. So today, we celebrate the legacy of Constance Baker Motley. And that is for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime, and good night.